Ladies and gentlemen, today is quite an exciting day if you are a Driving Empire player. I honestly can't remember last time I was so excited in my life. Now, uh, what I mean by this is Roblox Innovation Awards, right? They're these award show thingies. I thought it was still called the Bloxies. Apparently now they are called Roblox Innovation Awards, and they've been called that for a couple years now, which I mean, I guess that just shows I'm a hypocrite every single time I say Voldex is out of touch with reality, with their community, when I didn't even know what Roblox's award show was called. But regardless, we're not here to talk about my many failures, we're here to talk about Driving Empire. And surprisingly, not their many failures for once either. Uh, Basically, Driving Empire has been nominated for an award. Now, you would never know this unless you were watching this video because uh, they didn't mention it anywhere in their Discord server, nor did they mention it on Twitter. I'm sorry, X. Uh, nowhere, is, nowhere can it be found on their X profile. They didn't make any X videos about it. Now, the, what they have been nominated for is the best immersive environment, and they have been nominated for this award along with smasher killer games such as my hello kitty cafe really unsure how they're gonna come out on top when the competition is so fierce now along with the amazing game that is my hello kitty cafe there is also drive world and arcane odyssey in this category so you have two driving games and then two not driving games personally since this is immersive, I don't really feel that Drive World or Driving Empire fit at all. I wouldn't consider them particularly immersive. I would say a, a car game like Midnight Racing Tokyo would fit in this category far better, or even Ultimate Driving in its current state, as much as that pains me to say it, because it, Drive World is... They, they just don't really fit, in my opinion. My Hello Kitty Cafe, I cannot speak for since I've never played it. I'm kind of surprised it even made it to an award show with that name. I feel like that's just a copyright issue waiting to happen. I love also how we have the fake Mustang on the Driving Empire cover. That's that's quite spectacular. Now, which of these four do I want to win? You might be asking. Probably not because you probably don't care about my opinion, but we're going to pretend that you do. Arcane Odyssey is what I hope wins. I think out of these four, it's the most immersive. It's a really fun game. I've been waiting for it for years. Good game. Would recommend if you've never played it before, if you're into that kind of game. Regardless, I want Arcane Odyssey to win. Now, which game do I think will win? I think Arcane Odyssey out of these will honestly win. However, I think it's going to be close between Arcane Odyssey and Drive World. Now, what's interesting is according to Vdex, the developer for Arcane Odyssey, he said about the voting for it, I think Roblox decides who wins this category so you won't be able to vote for it in the awards place or whatever those things are called, brackets, whatever. I could be wrong. Now, I don't know if he's wrong or not, but when I went to the Innovation Awards place, I was unable to vote for this category. There are a few categories you could vote for, but this was not one of them. So I guess he's right, so I guess we'll just have to see what Roblox picks. If they pick my Hello Kitty Cafe, well, that's just a sad day for Driving Empire. Now, in typical Driving Empire fashion, we can't do anything without some controversy and drama and people complaining. Uh, Made Light tweeted, Why TF is Driving Empire and Drive World featured here? Arcane Odyssey deserves this award more than those crappy car games. Yes, I'm going to read it that way because I don't want to get demonetized. And this kind of just uh, created a little bit of a debate in his Twitter replies with people saying like, Drive World for the win, DE should be nominated for the worst car game of the year, and then you got some pro DE players and stuff like that. Then you have this guy who quoted it and said, don't understand why some people think Drive World is bad. And then you have Maid saying, by the, world, by the way, Drive World fanboys, you still have two other categories you could win, which is true. Drive World has Best Studio, which they're made by Twin Atlas, so they could win there. And then Best Creative Direction, which I could see them winning that. That would be fine. But yeah, so that's just a little bit of information. Driving Empire has been nominated for Best Immersive Environment somehow. Now, I, I, I guess I can sort of see Driving Empire and Drive World. I really see Arcane Odyssey. And just off of the picture from My Hello Kitty Cafe, I don't understand why it's here at all. With that being said, if you can vote, I will let you know that and I will vote. I'll do a video voting, at least on the trash can. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the video. 
quite an amazing day for driving Empire of Old X. I don't know why you didn't mention this. I'm kind of confused, but that's all right. Congratulations all the same, and I will see you all in the next video. Venom out.